The Woodland, Texas used to be the number one place to move to in Texas, especially for people that are coming from New York, California, New Jersey. Don't get me wrong, the Woodland is a very nice place. It has a lot of cool things, which I'm going to discuss in this video. But there are other cities around Houston, Texas that has also gained a lot of population, that has gained a lot of amenities, and is now giving the Woodlands the run for their value. So in this video, I will walk you through about six to seven reasons why why the woodland may not be the best place for you to move to if you are moving within Houston or you're moving out of state or out of Houston. Now, the woodland is a good place, like I said, and this video is not to batch the woodland or say anything negative about it. It's just pretty much giving you the information and allowing you to make your decision from there. Now, one of those cities that are very, very good that people have been moving to as compared to the woodland is Katy, Texas. Katy is one of the best places and they are known for you know the good schools now you might want to be asking yourself why are people even moving to the woodlands in the first place in the early 2000 people were really moving from california new york to the woodlands because of the several amenities they have the woodland has a lot of wood forest a lot of trees a lot of outdoor activities there's a lot of fortune 500 companies that have their headquarters there talk about Chevron, Huntsman, talk about the likes of HP as well, ExxonMobil, and um, it's well known for you know all these oil companies likes to have their headquarters in the woodlands. Also, the environment is very welcoming. There's a lot of restaurants there. It's very family friendly, and the schools are also top notch. There is decent master plan community when it comes to housing in the woodlands, uh, but the major drawback for the woodland is that it's expensive. The the woodland is not for an average American. If you're making less than $200,000 to live in woodland comfortably might be a little bit challenging. So this is why people now start looking for where is the next the woodlands. And that's where Katy, Texas comes into the picture. So here are the six major drawbacks why people are considering moving to Katy, Texas instead of the woodland. Number one is the cost of living. The cost of housing in the woodland is more expensive. As a matter of fact, if you are doing your analysis, you will see that the price per square foot is always going to be higher in the woodland as compared to Katy, Texas. The average price point of a single family home, three bedroom, two bathroom, or even a four bedroom, two bathroom in the woodland is around $600,000, whereas in Katy is around $350,000. So people find Katy more affordable than the woodland. The woodland is also considered a suburb, like suburban, and in terms of the easy accessibility to every part of Houston is a little bit further north and uh, KD is closer to town, easy access to all the highways as compared to, you know, the woodlands. The property taxes in the woodland is also a little bit cheaper. So people find this like, oh, we like to move to the woodland because we can pay low taxes. The cost of buying a house there is more expensive. There is also limited supply of housing because the woodland is kind of already filled up. There is no more land to build. So you will not see a lot of new construction in the woodland because there is not really so much land again like i said compared to kd that they are still developing they are still building stuff so these are the little bit drawback in terms of uh why kd might be a better option for you again in this video i'm not trying to say don't move to the woodland i'm just telling you that if you are not looking for all these things that woodland has to offer or if you believe that hey, kd also have the same thing or even better then you might consider kd over moving to the woodland if you're meeting me for the first time my name is wally I am a local real estate agent here in the Houston, Texas. I have helped a lot of people to move from, you know, out of state, talk about California, New York, New Jersey, even Florida, Maryland, among other places, you know, around the United States. So if you're considering moving to Houston, Texas, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information will be in the description below. I'm very accessible and I, you know, I can't wait to talk to you and see how I can help you. So moving on to Katy, Texas. So why is KD a better option as compared to the woodland? The biggest among of all is the affordability. KD is more affordable uh, with about $350,000. You can buy a very nice looking four bedroom, two and a half bathroom in KD, Texas. KD 
is also known for the great school system uh kdisd which is kd independent school district is well ranked you know all over texas uh a lot of the schools under kdisd are top rated and um, this is the reason why people love to live in kd because they want their kids to go to the best school another big reason is the proximity to houston or every part of houston kd is you know very central you can get to downtown within 25 minutes or less if you are using the highway of course diversity is another reason there's a lot of different ethnic groups different background of people all over the world they are moving to kd because kd welcome everybody and it's not just a different kind of or just this kind of people that live here it's very diverse everybody is welcome in kd the biggest one new construction there's a lot of new construction in kd texas you can get a very nice new construction or new build 2024 built home in kd for as little as three fifty thousand dollars and um, also the tax rate is a little bit higher than the woodlands but you also get more amenities in terms of the what the neighborhood provides in terms of the recreational activities you know within the community which you live and this is why your tax rate can be a little bit higher also there's going to be HOA. HOA is also going to be around between 1000 to 1300 every year. So this is an additional cost as well. But again, all these fees are compensating for the value that you are getting. Another big reason is the job market. There's a lot of jobs in the KD area. Just as the Woodland has a lot of Fortune 500, KD Texas also have a lot of Fortune 500 companies. And uh, there is even more expansion towards Waller counties as well from, from KD because there's a lot of land to develop and developers like where there's a lot of land for them to really explore their ideas. Talk about entertainment and nightlife, there's a lot of fun activities to do in KD. There's KD Mills, there is La, La Cantera. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that definitely fit into the lifestyle of both the young professionals, the older generations, and even the retirees have found KD Texas as a nice place for them to live or work or even raise their children. Just like every part of Houston, KD has a very reasonable weather climate. Uh, it typically doesn't, you know, rain so much, probably about 12 times in a year. But during the summer, the temperature can go as high as 92 degrees. So uh, this is something to know. People that love the sunshine, they definitely um, like um, they like KD. Coming from Florida, coming from New York, they just enjoy KD, Texas. There you have it. Let me know what you think about this video. Are you going to be moving to KD? You're going to be moving to the woodland or you want to be moving to a different part of houston regardless of where you want to move to i'm always here to help as much as possible feel free to reach out to me my contact information will be in the description below and i can't wait to talk to you now if you want to learn more about katy texas i will put a guide below that can definitely show you all the communities in the katy texas that you can explore and see which one really makes sense for your budget which one makes sense for your lifestyle and uh, we can be able to go from there above all make sure to like this video subscribe to my channel share this video with anybody else you think will benefit from it and um, i can't wait to see you on the next one bye bye